welcome back to Babs Fabs. Before I get started, I just want everybody to know. I want everybody to, I want to know how is everyone doing. And also, I hope you all are blessed. But I have a confession before I get started, ladies. And, uh, you know, the Bible says is we confess our faults before the Lord. He is faithful and just to forgive us. So I just want to confess to you all, ladies, that I have an addiction. And the addiction that I have, I think it's been, uh, what, maybe two or three. It, it might be, yeah, about three or four years now. So I am asking all of you to help me concerning this addiction, which is, I am addicted to digital kits, okay? Digital kits from Etsy, and I'm needing help. I know I'm gonna have to probably take therapy, but if you all can agree with me, or if I have somebody that could say, well, Barbara, I know what you're going through. I am addicted to digital kits too. At first, I could not understand why women always wanted these digital kits because I'm like, what are they? They're just scrapbooking paper that you print out on the, on your printer. I'm like, what's the difference? But when I started to investigate, OMG, I have now 26 purchases. That means I have 20 different 26 different not only digital kits but other goodies that i get off of etsy so oh, it feels so much better now since i confess to my addiction so if you ladies have an addiction too it will make me feel so much better to let me know in the comments what are you addicted to because you know what? I look at my craft room, which is small. It's, I don't know what to say. It's maybe uh, four feet by maybe seven feet or eight feet. But it's, it's nice enough for me because if it was bigger, it'll be more things inside and it will be more things that I have to purchase. So anyway, when I look at some of these ladies' um, uh, 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 craft rooms, I mean, it looks like Michael Department Store or Joann's. I'm like, oh my goodness. So sometimes I don't really feel bad. Although my sons tried to make me feel bad when, when they moved me here in the condo. They was talking about how much arts and craft stuff I have. But anyway... Let's get into, this is my latest purchase, and I love this. I purchased it off of Amazon. I purchased it off Amazon, which was more, because when I went to Hobby Lobby the other day, it was $11 and something. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh my God, I already have it coming. So this is, um, it's a tag, it's a tag punch. And this is how it punches, like this. This is the two and a half punch. You just stick it in and it punches. It punches um, one and a half tags, two and a half tags, and a two inch tag. So I thought that this was a very good investment for me to um, and get. And I also got my brown paper bags. My brown paper bags came in so that I can make my other um, brown paper, my bag, brown paper bag pocket like I did with the other ones. Okay, so what I'm gonna do today, I am going to make some, these are, let me put this to the side for now. These are, um, what are these? What are these, what did I make them? Oh, these are just regular business envelopes, okay? And I cut them down let me show you the original one and it, and they are already like brown i got them from a 
like a thrift store and they already like have the little patina you could tell they're old because we don't have them like this anymore after five days return we don't have those anymore so i just um seal them i seal them first and after i seal them let me show you my um what i made first and then i'll get into how i made them so this is how cute this one is and i used my new digital kit that i purchased this is the back and here is a pocket this is a pocket in the back and this is another one of my tags this is a pocket so this one needs long tag and i cut this open also so this is another pocket so i'm able to put a pocket here I have a pocket here because I, I, I put um, digital paper here and I put digital paper in the front. And on some of them, not this one, but how cute is that? This is the back. This is the top one. And this is another one. But let me show you I made some of them different I made them so you can put up a pocket on the side not a pocket it's a pocket on the side where you could put some uh, cute little infirmer inside of it okay put infirmer here on the side and you could also I put a little pocket right here so it's super cute so you have so many different ways that you can make them Add a here pocket at the bottom. You can have a pocket on the side, or with um, others, I have the pocket at the top. I love these. And here is another pocket here, and here is another pocket there. So, just showing you all of my cute little faces. How adorable. And then the couples. So I really had fun making these. A whole lot of fun making these. And all, so will you. You will have a lot of fun making these too because they, they are so much fun to make. So let me just get started on how I made them. adorable so ladies what are you all working on I want to say hi and hugs to all of my subbies let me show you how it's done so I have um this the ones that I have on the back is like a harder card stock than the regular uh, uh, regular um digital pages which are you know just a regular printed paper but the ones that i wanted to use as pockets i used um you know i had to use cardstock so it would be thicker because it would be a lot of traffic going through this and going through this okay but what i used on the front is just regular um digital paper and i did cut it down the size I did not, ladies, want to do any um, distressing because it would have been too much. So I'm saying, because the envelopes already have a little, you know, distress uh, about it. It has a little bit of um, vintage. It's a vintage envelope, so it's already, um, you know, has that distress look on it. So um, all I did was glue which I um, measured it really good. I measured all of them out, and then I just glued this one to the front because the front is where I have my um, my ladies, my faces, and on the back is where I have the other, um, you know, the pockets are on the back. So here, after I um, glued them on, After I glued them on, and then I just went back and decorated them. So it's it, it's according to what size your um, envelope is, because you know you might want to use a, a business size, which is much larger than this side, and um, this size here, and you have to measure accordingly. 
all the measurements will not be the same because you can even take a business um, envelope and you can cut it down the size. Now, I really started to use, um, I wanted to use glue stick because on some of them it started to um, bubble a little. So I said, I know if I use a glue stick, I would not have that problem. So, grab my glue stick. I should have my glue book, which is close by. But grab your glue stick and apply it generously. And we will not have that problem of it bubbling. But it's going to take a little bit more. See, you won't have that problem with the... Um, with the glue stick, with the um, paper bubbling that much. Much better. Okay, so I have this one, so I'm gonna show you. This is just how it start out. And then this is the cardstock, which is thicker, and the cardstock is going to go on the back, okay? So since this is cardstock, I'm going to use the liquid glue and always hold your thumb by the part that you don't want to glue and you'll learn that by, from your mistakes. So um, this is the part I'm going to glue so it could be a pocket. And I, I like to use, I'm sorry, keep switching up so many different glues. I like to use the part where you um come on pen i like to use the um my glue here is the berry art glue and it has like the needle nose which is so thin and i try to get it close to the edge as possible so i can have a lot of real estate takes concentration to do this. So you see what I mean? As close to the edge as possible. And it is, because by the time the glue spread, uh-oh, by the time the glue spread, you don't have that much real estate. So if you start with a thin line, and then, um, uh-oh, and then, by the time you match the glue, it will not take up too much of your real estate. You still have a nice little amount of real estate. So either you could just let this here be your pocket, or you could cut the top out like I did on some, and you have a pocket also here at the top, like here. I, I, cut, I cut it at the top, and I also have a pocket here. So it's up to you how many pockets you want to have. So like I say, this is the back, which is cute. I'm not going to put a pocket here. Why? Because this is super cute right here. Okay, so I'm just going to leave a pocket here. So the front, I am going to um, use my regular paper here. Yeah. And I'm going to use the glue. Yeah, so this week has been a very blessed week. I have still, I've still been doing my fitness journey, which is cutting down on my um, portion size. And I'm also walking now. So I walk, I wake up around 7.30. And on the other day, I walked for an hour, and I was so sore, ladies. I'm like, oh, my God, I don't think I can do this again. So, Tuesday, I did not walk. You know, I just did my walking, which I do have my, um, my Fit Band that tells me how many steps and the distance and everything that I did. So, oh, my gosh, I made, like, yesterday I didn't even walk yesterday and I did 
no, it was Monday, I think I did the 8,000 steps. And my goal each day is to do 7,000. So on Monday, I did reach my goal of eight, 7,000, and then I surpassed it because um, I did the hour of walking in the morning, so I was so happy. So now all you have to do is the fun pot, which is uh, decorating it however you want to. So I, I got this this um, lace with these little speckles in them from the Dollar Tree, and they come in all different colors. So I'm just gonna lay that, lay them down here on each one of them. Yeah, so um, the exercise, you know, that, that time in the morning, you see the sunrise and it's a beautiful day for walking and make sure it's um, on the correct side before you glue it down. Yeah, so I've been doing my walking and I've been cutting down on portion size. And, and I was telling the doctor when I saw him that um, I only eat like, you know, I usually snack um, after 12 because I'm trying to do the, um, what you call the intermittent fast. So I told him that I really don't hardly eat, but like once a day and that's my dinner. So he said, no, that's not the way to do it. You say you have to eat in between, you know, um, have your little snacks. He say it's a, it's, it is what you eat that matters. He said, you know, you can't eat all type of junk food and potato chips and cookies and ice cream and all that. I said, no, I don't eat that way. But he said, you have to have something that you can munch on like fruits and, um, you know, raw vegetables, a salad or boiled eggs. He said, you can't have, um, I said, what about nuts? He said, no, nuts are fattening. I'm like, even walnuts? I said, walnuts are healthy for you. He said, nuts are fattening. So I did, I had just bought two, buy one, get one free walnut from Publix. So I said, well, I have to eat my walnuts. I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to eat my walnuts. So just, you know, I put um, that on there and I also put the um, cheese claw that I dyed. And also I have some gold, some of this gold also, you could put on it, but I'm going to put those on it. And then, let me see, I might want to add a little splash of black. Just a little splash. Just a little splash of black in the corners. Oh, I know I covered that hard up. I love that hard, but it looked like I covered that hard up. Okay, so let's put the black down. Yeah, so... um. I'm more conscious of what I buy now when I go to the grocery store because I am trying to do the meal prep because I'm not, I'm not sure what I told you ladies that I see him again in January and he say he wants to see some of the weight gone. So I'm telling you, it's, it's been hard, you know, because he was telling me every morning, weigh yourself, you know, every morning, weigh yourself. He say take up, make sure you when you're weighing yourself, you just not, you know, weighing yourself with a lot of heavy clothes on and shoes on. He said just weigh yourself early in the morning, you know. So he said, um, but I'm telling you, every day I weigh myself and I get depressed. I don't I don't like to use the D word, but I don't see nothing moving. You know, and I know something has to be working. That's what I'm telling myself. Something is working, Barbara, but it's not going to... Because the weight on the scale, it fluctuates. You know, one day is three pounds, four pounds down. The next day is back to the same one. So I'm like, I'm, I'm confused. You know, I'm like, okay. So when I when everybody asks me, did you lose any weight? I said, well, yeah, it looks like I lost about four pounds. So I say, that's, that's, um, that's helpful. So I, I said, well, I don't know whether their, the doctor's scale is wrong sometime, it may be, or whether it's my scale. Okay, so I just lay them down here. Take the pictures, cute little pictures. 
Yeah, so this, this, it's been three weeks now. I walked the first week every day for 30 minutes. But then I heard someone say that um, you have to at least walk an hour because after 45 minutes, that's when your body begins to burn fat. So I'm like, well, if I walk 30, is that helping or not? So that's why I changed and walked the hour and I almost, I made it, I did it, but um, I, I felt the effects and I'm like, I can't do this. I can't do an hour every day. I cannot until I get stronger, you know, and we know that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Honey, I be praying for strength when I be walking. I'm like, God, strengthen me, Lord, I need your strength, Father, give me your strength. I need your strength. Yeah, because when I, I usually record it sometime and you can hear in my voice, the breathing. Yes. So I be praying for strength. But everybody is so proud of me and I I um I um intend to keep it up because I do want to lose not only I, I need to lose for health and I need to lose because I want to be able to go and do more. Yes, I do. I want to go and do more things. So, and that's the um the first thing I need to do is to focus on that. So once you've got all of your pictures down and you've added all of your um your um you know I I should have put book pages under it. Sometime I do add book pages, but then that's when you go and you get all, all your other little ephemera. And you can place it um, somewhere, um, somewhere on to you know to enhance it to decorate it more. That, that might be too there. Let me see. Do you need a cross? That's that broke off. Well, I like to put these little things, these little little infirmaries right here. They're so small. Here I go again with my nails. But anyway, I think this will look good on you. And let's see for you, for the beautiful couple. I have some um Flowers. I have an order coming in from um, what is the place called? It's called um, uh, tape tapeology or tapeology tapeology, and oh my goodness, I have been waiting because I think this company is based in China, and it seems like I have been waiting so long for my things to come. Yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping it'll come either tomorrow or maybe this weekend. But I ordered some rub-ons. They are rub-on butterflies. And it's some beautiful, like, eyelash trim. It's some beautiful trim that's coming. And, um, you know, it's so many uh, girls in this, um, in this craft community like I said last time, that enables you. So I was watching her name. Well, it says Camilla on her YouTube page, but her name is um, Julie. And with, with Julie, I got a 15% discount. So that was helpful. But Julie is the one who... Um, I saw these beautiful rub-ons. You get like six sheets of these flower flower rub-ons and um you can request if you want the cloth and they have like some type of cloth that you can use to um you know rub on you can use the rub-ons on and it looks so cute so i am so ready for that to come so i can start having fun with that so putting those on and if you notice, I didn't want to bling these up. I didn't want to bling them up, but I did want to use, put buttons on them. 
So I may go back later and that means something else because that I probably need a nice word to go under that. And what else? I said I want to put some of these here on there. Uh, yes. So um, I do want to play with that so I can't wait till that come. And I'm, I definitely will show you my haul when it comes. And then I told you I'm addicted. I went on Etsy because I saw these pictures of um, personal stickers. You could personalize your stickers. You could actually have your face on a sticker. And I loved it. So guess what? I went on Etsy, found the person that does it. And uh, she's going to send me my personal, my personalized stickers, my face on the sticker. And I'm like, oh, that's going to be exciting. So she, she, she did it and she emailed me of how the sticker is going to look. And I, and I saw it and then my son, because he's a graphic designer, I had to run it by him, you know, for proof. And, uh. He's, he, he picked out something that I didn't even pick out, but you know, that's because he has that, um, that, uh, because he's a graphic designer and he picked it up. So because he did that, I said, okay, then I'm like, let me change the little design. So I changed the little design and it did come out much better. So I ordered it and, uh, I told her, yes, I love this one. So I ordered it and it's, it should be coming sometime soon. Yes, so I'm excited about that. But as far as my addiction, ladies, I am going to go into rehab and I'm going to try. I'm saying I'm not going to order anything else for the rest of this year. Okay, I'm going to see how that works. Okay, I love this cross here. But I'm going to add, I'm going to use one of my little clips to hold it in place till that dries. And what else does this need? This needs something to, oh, let's put, no, I, I'm not going to put anything else there. Because you know I love my words. So I'm going to go back and later on, I'm going to put words and buttons on them. So when you see these again, you're going to see them with, um, so ladies, I, I hope you understand what I did, how I did them. So just have fun on the back. I don't do too much. If it has a, uh, a nice picture, all I could do is put a nice label or something like that. But other than that, I see on this one, I can do some little decorating. I could put something like a label or something on that. But other than that, this is it. This is it. So I hope you enjoy. I think this is the shortest video I've ever done. But I'm learning to prep and uh, have things done for you ladies. So I won't keep you here forever because it is a, uh, it is, an, uh, I'm thankful that you all even stop by and give me the time that you give me. So I hope you love my little envelope. Um, little pockets, another way that you can use envelopes because, you know, we get so many even with the junk mail. And also, I wanted to go back and I have these ladies here. I wanted to add them to it also. I think they will look cute on one. So I have these that I can um, add on them also. And I laminated these. So the only option I have with these is how am I going to um, attach them? And I do have a tiny attacher. So only uh, the only thing I can do is cut it up at the top and see if I can get the little tiny attacher. Uh, so I could do the little tiny staples. Yeah, have it at the top so I won't have to go too far. So that's another idea. You can use use what you have. All right. So until next time, ladies, be inspired and God bless. Bye-bye.